name's Dave Confair, Marshall Waterman. I've been on the water for about 22 years. I've been targeting blue cats for probably the last five or six years. They're one of the top fish for wintertime fishing when everything else is slow. You can actually go and have a blast with these. They um, bend the rods for sure. I like to fish the Nanakoke watershed, the Marshy Hope. The blue cats being an invasive, you're actually helping out a little bit. Every blue cat you catch, you probably save 20 fish. The best bait I find is bluegills and shad. In the morning on the way out, I like to lay out a small piece of gill net. Usually it don't take but about a half an hour or so to fill the net up. A little bit of everything in the net, anywhere from perch to rockfish, anything that's not allowed to keep, you want to release right back into the water as fast as you can. Nothing goes to waste. Everything's sold or processed or, or froze up. In case they ever do get tough to catch, you always got bait. Usually blue cat mark real easy on a deaf finder in big schools. Smaller ones seem to prefer the deeper water. Bigger ones like to stay towards the ledges, the drop-offs, where it goes from five foot right down to 15 foot. The colder it gets, the deeper you'll find them. I generally like to use four to six lines. So I got three rods with mono, three rods with braid. The braid, you can definitely cast bigger baits further, but the braid is terrible with tangles, terrible. I like to cut the bait in chunks, two by four inches for three of the rods and Three to rods, I like to put pretty much the whole shad on. Fins trimmed off, so I don't spin it if you're fishing a lot of heavy current. The head and the belly, I grind them up with a um, chummer. It puts an oil slick on the water, and it, sometimes it helps to turn them on and get them biting. Anywhere from a six odd to an eight odd circle hook seem to work the best with about three to five ounce weight. tend to get five to 20 pounders on the chunks and 20 plus on the bigger baits. Big bait, big fish. The bigger the bait, the bigger the fish, for sure. When you hook up on some fish, you tend to disperse the school a little bit. You might have to move, get on them again. Usually they don't go very far. I don't think people realize the size and how many are really out there. The numbers are unbelievable. It'd be great to have more people targeting them, build a little better market for them, educate people on how actually good they are to eat. And you're saving native species, taking the invasive species out. Definitely better for the ecosystem.